I'm out here at the uh, Goat Camp Trail. This is supposed to be one of the harder ones. If if we get far enough, me and the revisiting history dog, Jax S. Colon, that's his name. We're going to have a video out about him here soon, Jax S. Colon. Um, anyways, that's his name. We're going to take him uh, for his first real big hike on the Goat Camp Trail. This one's supposed to be uh, up to 10 miles if we can get up and back today. I don't think flight's going to be enough, but we can at least scout it out and get a good idea of what we're looking at, huh, Jax? Jax? Huh? Oh. Okay. All right, Jax, go. Come on. Oh, he's ready. He's so ready. So this trail is supposed to be uh, one of the more difficult ones right up there next to the Ford Canyon in the back. But um, if it, like I said, if, if you do it right, it should take you right up next to Barry Goldwater Peak. Now, Barry Goldwater Peak is supposedly off limits, but just to just, you know, put my toe up there real quick. It hurts so much. All right, so the main goal of today is more of a scouting mission than anything. I hear a eagle over there or something. But anyways, I want to see how far we got to go and how treacherous this really is compared to what it says on the map because Ford Canyon is pretty docile so far from where we got. And up there you can see Barry Goldwater Peak where all the towers are. So it looks like it's a straight shot up the mountain, but these things can right, be so deceiving. Come on, boy, let's go. This is the first split we're seeing. It's the goat camp trail. We're gonna follow that up. Keep taking that. All right, so I saw this little trail kind of off to the side over here. You can see the white tanks in the whole riverbed. I think somebody actually said that they took this trail all the way up to the top, but we're not gonna all do right, that. All right, we're at our next. This one breaks off in the south trail. And then when we go back and look at a map, it'll be more understandable, but we're gonna keep taking the goat camp because that's gonna take you all the way to the top. All the way to the top, mate. On jocks. Jax is calling. I can't wait to make that video just for the comedy. It's gonna be fantastic. Fantastic. It's gonna be huge. Oh, and remarks on the trail. This trail's definitely not your grandma and grandpa's trail. Although, I did see uh, some older folks taking it down. They had some walking sticks and stuff, but there's a lot of uh, steep inclines of rocks. A lot of times the rocks are gonna be in your way. Now I saw one of these back there and it was kind of interesting. It said a name of the gentleman and then it said, where's the respawn button? And it kind of makes you think about this place, man. So, you all right, Jax? You all right? Makes, uh-oh, this is lovely. Anyways, thinking about respawn buttons, uh, you know, in places like this, it makes you think that you really gotta be careful and there's no respawn button that we know of and depending on your faith there really is none so um, make sure you live your life and get out there revisit history right, go, boy. as you can see the terrain has changed quite a bit we're gonna go up Jack seems to be feeling better he likes to eat things on the side of the trail like these which uh, I haven't done much research but they're probably not particularly palatable or digestible so he's probably not feeling too great from that but I've been giving him lots of water look at that look at that jump look at that look at that Woo! Jack's on his revisiting history clout look at that come on Jax let's go bud this is GC one mile trail so this is gonna be uh here hold, hold up Jax I'll tell you man the beauty of the White tanks generally is just something to be something to be seen. You know. Right, so like I said, these videos sometimes I don't think they they do the true justice for what you're you're getting on the trail. So just a quick comment I thought of. Alright, so we'll get a, a mileage check whenever we get back to the revisiting history desk and just kind of check out the mileage we covered on the map, but Jack says it's time to go home, so Jack says it's time to go home. He's just a puppy, so we'll get him to the top next time. Or this is actually his second rock climbing excursion. He did one over at, uh, oh, where was it? South Mountain, I think, or somewhere. So we took him somewhere. He did some pretty nice rock climbing, pretty impressive. So he's a good boy and he's tired. I'll take him home. Come on, Jax. Just look at that. I'm over the road. Jax. Come on, dude. 
<laughs> and again, this is the goat camp trail. We're, we're gonna map the whole white tanks before I leave Arizona, but this one is, uh, the label is particularly difficult. My puppy can do it, I can do it. Uh, would not bring a stroller out here. The terrain's a bit rigorous as far as rocks and such. Um, either that or the whole thing would be an entire excursion of how to Jeep Wrangler your, your toddler up a, you know, a trail you're not gonna get too, too terribly far on. So I did see a lot of bike tracks. Again, I don't know a lot about biking, so this type of terrain I'm not sure about, but um, beautiful trail. Right now is archery season for, I believe, go some sort of mule deer. So I did see some archers out here earlier. I saw one scouting that out. In fact, he's the one, the gentleman that pointed me over to here and was able to like, get us on the right trail. So this is a uh, goat camp trail. And this kind of shows you the, the terrain that we've been dealing with here. And we're gonna come back and summit this baby here shortly as soon as we can get jacks up to speed. And, uh, you know, definitely get him. Jax, come on, boy. Prepared enough to, to some of some of these harder hikes. So, like I said, we will get these white tanks entirely encompassed within revisiting history before we're done, along with Skyline, along with South Mountain. Uh, hopefully, Shastrea, but it's definitely on the tertiary as far as importance goes. Uh, just kind of updating you guys as far as where revisiting history is going. Of course, this video is not going to come out for quite some time, but. Um, we're starting to catch up with the backlog and get to some of the newer videos. I think the I've got some really cool ones coming up. I'm not going to give out too much details, but uh, like I said, here we are. I had to stop him for a minute. Sit, Jax. Jax, sit. Sit. He don't want to sit right now. He's too tired. He wants to get out of here. Look at that mountain. Absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we'll be summiting some ones there. And make this one look teeny. Like I said, we did Skyline Crest Summit. It's not out as I'm speaking, but by the time this video is out, it'll be long out that summit. But uh, like I said, it's kind of I have to get my schedule reset. So these videos are coming out one after another in chronological order shortly after filming. But I've had a lot of uh, I have a lot of side jobs I have to work to. Um, make revisiting history possible and enhance revisiting history and like I said part of the part of the process is expanding what I'm doing and that takes process like I said I went from just visiting sites to explaining sites to breaking down the sites to actually uh, uh, like I said the Humboldt model which is breaking the sites into pieces trying to expand on them I'm gonna try and see if I can get that one I was that bench I was talking about breaking down the sites and then trying to see them from more than just a site, but a, a larger piece to the puzzle of what the world exists as. It's the Humboldt model of history, and like I said, I think the humanities has been basically fractured into a hundred million bits. It's where uh, things like botany and, and uh, ge uh, geology have been completely stripped from the histories and made into the sciences, which the sciences have been. Even the Darwin, even the people who used to claim Darwinian science don't believe in Darwinian science anymore. So they, they all have taken Darwin's theories, tossed them out the windows and post them with some, replaced them with some uh, postmodern Hegelian nonsense. But that's just my opinion. I'm not speaking for anybody else or any corporations or even revisiting history more broadly, it's my opinion, as uh, S.P. Shruffler. But, a lot of cool stuff. Like I said, Baron Samedi video, the film, if you haven't seen it yet, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, it's another one of the many projects we're working on. Come on, boy. The Inventions projects are coming along swiftly. The Rocket projects, again, coming along swiftly. Uh, the Revisiting History Vehicle, whoop. We're going to have to go upgrade that baby for another uh, video shortly. So we've got some iron. I'm mixing with this quartz over here. You can see the rust. Might be pyrite, but like so we got some samples and even through a lot of the sites we've been to, we've been collecting samples, trying to analyze them and come up with better understandings of these locations. Of course, you know that the white tanks are mostly 
a uh, geological structure of gneiss and uh, granite. And uh, but you can see a ton of quartz. I mean, there's the quartz mine trail even here. Um, it's even in the names. And you can see every once in a while you'll see giant chunks of quartz sticking out of the ground. But right now, like I said, we're exiting the trail. I got a lot, a lot of nice markers that you can line up with the map and see exactly kind of the, the kind of terrain that we had whenever we were coming around. Um, but so here's it's Debbie, 2017. Enjoy the view, view in the mountain. Let's take a, let's take a view for Debbie. Come on, Jax. Here, let me get you. Oh, this thing not wrapped up. Here we go, boy. What do you think? Wow. It's gorgeous. I'm sure Jax wants. No, Jax, get over here, boy. Not yet. You're too tired. Come on. Come here. Look at that, though. That beautiful rock. Maybe we'll. Looks like his Dave Smith. <laughs> Something over there. And those look like possible petroglyphs. Hmm. Let's take a quick glance at that. Alright, so we've actually come down into this ravine a little bit more. Check it out. Particularly this one over here. Now that one's, of course, graffiti of some sort or marking. People like to mark up their spots of where they've been, too. You can be able to make it, Jax? Make it up here? No? Let's go back this way. Come on. There you go. Find some footing. Come on. Over here. This way. This way. You can see down here in the ravine, though, it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the white. Somebody graffitied and then maybe possibly some petroglyphs over there, but I can't tell for sure. And then... As you go back further again, you can see where the water's come down. Jax, how did you get up here? <laughs> Jeez. All right, nope, nope, we're not going back there. I don't know what that is, but let's maybe take a quick stroll of this little ravine. And here we are again. Man, this is like magical, almost like something out of a movie. I'll tell you, like, most people don't get to see these places very often or at all, ever, in their lives. Um, I mean, look at this rock. The way it's shaped and you need to come on boy up here unless you don't want to look into that crevice right there oh my god you can see it's it's literally pinged on that one little teeny rock right there if that were to come down this whole thing would move so it's, this is what it looks like down there that's a cesspool man look like at mosquitoes probably got a high risk of a west nile if you want some i'm good let's go uh back out the way we came jacks Come on, Jax, come on. Let's go, come on, no, no, no. Let's go. Come boy. Come on, no. Get on this way. Which way, come on. Let's go get back across. Right here, come on. Jax, get on this way, come on. Woo. He's trying to bring me right across. Right this way, come on. What's up there? <laughs> come on, no. Drop your stick. Come on. The one I was talking about right here, it says, Don't Eat Life, Steve J. Sloan, 1980-2011. Where's my, or where's the respawn button? So, what is that, 30, 31 years? It's pretty remarkable. Now here you can see somebody's actually laid out some of the rock of the, uh, the mixture of the niece and the... Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now, but you can see the mixture of the two different rocks, and even in some of them, you can see the quartz. Come on, Jax. No, Jax. Jax, drop it now. 